Map Symbolization There are many ways to symbolize vector data as points, lines, and polygons. While color is one of the more common ways to symbolize data, this chart shows additional ways to show differences among features on your map by varying size, pattern, shape, and orientation. When choosing any type of symbology, it is important to think about accessibility, especially in relation to color blindness. The Color Brewer website allows you to filter colors based on those that can be viewed by people with color blindness. ArcGIS Pro also has this option in its symbology menu. Raster data are symbolized differently from vector data. As you saw in the early, earlier modules about types of spatial data, raster data are a continuous surface. Raster data can be displayed by showing all data values, grouping values into categories, varying colors across the surface based on the value, or creating a vector field using symbols, which you might see in a map of wind direction and speed.